Lupin, the Lone Wolf. Deep within the enigmatic bounds of woods of Echos, where the trees swayed in a dance known only to the wind, there lived a wolf named Lupin. His coat was a tapestry of all hues of grace, his eyes a piercing amber, reflecting a spirit as untamed as the forest itself. Known throughout the land for his boundless stamina and swift paws, Lupin could run like the river's flow, relentless and ever onward. Lupin belonged to a pack, a mosaic of souls woven by the loyalty and the laws of nature. Yet, in his heart, where the call of the wild hummed a solitary tune, he longed for the freedom that lay beyond the pack's domain. This yearning was a silent whisper among his kin, a murmur of dissent as they watched him gaze into the horizon, a place where pack rules blurred into the shadows of the trees. The pack, led by the venerable Alpha Eldrick, valued unity above all. Lupin's solitary ways and his friendships with creatures outside the pack, like Bumbly the Bear, were met with growls of disapproval. A wolf is of the pack, Eldrick would say, his voice as deep as the roots of the forest. The strength of the one is the strength of the many. But the call of the unknown tugged at Lupin's heartstrings, and one crisp dawn, as dew still clung to the emerged leaves, he chose the path of solitude. With the blessing of the morning light, Lupin ventured deep into the woods, his paws thudding in rhythm with his beating heart. His adventure was a cascade of challenges. He scaled rocky outcrops, where his strength was tested against the might of the mountain. He traversed rushing rivers, his stamina unyielding against the push and pull of the currents. And in the quiet of the night, under a blanket of stars, he found solace in the company of the moon, his silent guardian. In the solitude of his journey, Lupin learned the language of the woods. The rustling leaves spoke of patience, the bubbling brooks of persistence, and the open sky of endless possibilities. Yet, with each passing day, the warmth of the pack's bond flickered like a distant fire in his soul. Upon his return, the pack gathered their eyes wide with the unspoken question of his absence. Lupin, with a voice smoothed by the solitude, recounted tales of his travels, of lessons learned not in spite of his solitude, but because of it. A hush fell upon the park as Eldrick approached. With a nudge that spoke more than words, the Alpha acknowledged the value of Lupin's lone quest. The pack, too, began to see that the strength of the wolf lay not only in the pack, but in the heart that beats true to itself. Lupin had found the delicate balance between the call of the pack and the call of the wild. He ran with his brethren, his heart beating with theirs, yet he also wandered alone, where the whispers of the woods spoke only to him. As time passed, Lupin's tales of adventure sowed the seeds of courage within the pack. Cubs grew up with eyes gleaming with wonder, and elders found respect for the paths less trodden. Lupin had become a bridge between the unity of the pack and the freedom 
of the spirit. And so, atop the hill where the land met the sky, Lupin stood, a lone figure against the canvas of the nature. He was at peace, his soul a part of the vast expanse, yet forever entwined with the pack that called him one of their own. The End